So right now I have a blank Google sheet. This is what we're going to use for all of our data. And first thing I'm going to do is name it. Um, naming to be pretty deliberate. Uh, I teach second period. So I'll start with my period number, which is two. And I'll say underscore and then my last name, Turner, my first name, Graham. And I'll just say probably data. How about that? Great. So we've got a blank sheet. Before um, I add anything, I want to put some labels in. So the first label I'm going to put in is my trials. Uh, after my trials, I want to add the stuff that isn't going to change in the lab. Um, so Jarrett and I were deliberating. Uh, so we have an angle. The angle definitely won't change. It's the same angle ramp every time. So I'll say angle. And I'm going to put the uh, units in. So I'm going to say degrees. Distance, distance also didn't change. We use the same length ramp, ramp every time. So I'll say distance, Ooh. distance. And our distance uh, was in centimeters, so TM. Next is things that are going to change, and that's just time. That's it, cool. Time, seconds. And then the thing that I'm calculating with the distance and the time, the reason I took those measurements is so that I could get the average velocity. So put that in here. Average velocity. That's in centimeters per second. Uh, we just want to keep it consistent. My distance was in centimeters, so my velocity should be in centimeters per second. If I did distance in meters, then we would have our velocity be in meters per second. Great. 